Finally, their page is up. Check it out. Project D. Can't believe they won again. That's a course record. Amazing. They've won every match on every opponent's turf they've hit. So, what's a Project D? You know Ryosuke Takahashi, right? I'm not blind. That super hot guy? Anyway, he put together this special team to compete with other teams outside his prefecture. He uses his computer to lure in the challengers. Then he posts the results on his web page. He puts the opponent's names up there. Hell, even the road names go up. Are they coming out or not? From what I heard, I think we'll probably see them soon. They were last seen on Asagiri Highway not too long ago. Well, it's about time. Guess I'll go ahead and do the downhill. The uphill's all yours. Your 34 will handle it better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I don't know how fierce the competition is over in Gunma, but I want to show these guys we'll redefine the term getting burned if they mess with us. Are you serious? Not more new tires. Didn't you just buy new ones a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, but those were just cheap little placeholders. Their grip stinks outside of the city. I'm gonna need to get a new set. That's how I'll win those time attacks. I know it. Now, please. You gotta help me. When I get my summer bonus, I'll pay you back, I promise. You've always spent too much money on your stupid car. Huh? It would just be nice if you would put some of your money away with our future in mind. Six years. Toro, how long do you expect us to do this? The way things have been going, I don't see us ever getting married. Great, my favorite topic again. Do you know how sick I am of hearing about this? Do you know how sick I am of bringing it up because you never listen? Okay, if that's what you want, I'll lend you the money. Yeah, you will? You're a lifesaver, babe. But huh? there's one condition. Uh, yeah, what kind? The kind that says you quit racing altogether if you lose this next battle. But you can't mean that. I'm serious this time, so you better hear me. I mean it. Break this promise and I'll leave you for good. You'll never see me again. This battle is mine. I mean, now is important to me, but... There's just no way I'm ever quitting racing. Toru! They're here! Project 
Project D. Finally, you show yourself. That's an FD. What's that? An 8-6? Whoa, these guys really know how to make an entrance. They might be tough. Hey, Ryosuke, get up. We're here. Come on, it's time. Ryosuke! It doesn't matter what he's doing, his concentration is always amazing. Wish I could do that. He hasn't woken up once since we left Takasaki, not even for a drink or to use the can. My brother understands efficiency. He's got many talents. That's just one. Hey, Matsumoto. Sorry, man. Can you snag me a water? Yeah, sure. Let's begin. How's it going? We're Project D from the Gunma area. People know us as the Seven Star Leaf. On this mountain, we're the main team that races. We're the ones to beat. So naturally, you guys will be driving against us. That sounds good. We're all ready to go. Now, I'm sure someone contacted you about this earlier, but we'd like to practice here tonight if it's all right with you. That way, we can be fully rested and prepped for tomorrow night's race. I hear you. I got no problem with that. If my eyes aren't lying, you guys only brought an FD and an 8-6 with you. Only two cars to start? We specialize in battling opponents far away. This is the result of that. We've gotten more efficient. The 8-6 is for downhill. The FD is for the uphill. And these two guys are our double aces. All right. We'll get started, then. They're a lot more polite than I expected they'd be. Racers usually aren't the friendliest guys. I thought it was weird that they only brought two cars. But what's with the three vans? Are they support units? What are they hiding in there? The 8-6's final settings are locked in and ready. And with the changes we made, they're looking something like this. This isn't a normal racing team. Racers usually ride together. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, three support vans for two cars, I don't know about that. A team's a team, but am I the only one here who thinks these guys look more like professional circuit racers? Look, they just do this crap to try to psych us out. You can't let them. What do you think they can accomplish with one night of practice? We've been doing this for two years. That's two years more than they have. I mean, come on, we must have driven this course like a thousand times already. They could have 20 support units out here, who cares? When it comes down to it, it's driver versus driver. And I don't exactly plan on losing, especially to any 1.6 liter. This is my turf. No crap 8.6 is gonna take me down. Okay, I understand. This'll work. Give Fujiwara the basic rundown, have him think about it, and then tell him to get with me if he has any ideas. Right. I don't want to go into too much detail right now, but this is important. He should start thinking about things on his own. Sure, I got you. Have you seen that video yet? Yeah, I've watched it like 40 times already. I'm assuming that means you've memorized the course then. For your first five runs, I only want you at 70%. There's a difference between watching the video and actually driving the course, but I hope you put that together already. First and foremost, you gotta adjust to that difference. Sure. Keisuke, you understand what I'm saying too, right? You pick up your pace only after you've gotten used to the difference. Yeah, you don't have to worry about a thing. Okay, then go. As long as my tires are solid, 
I'm ready to give it all I've got. You may be right, Toru. What could they accomplish in just one night? That's the frame of mind we have to put ourselves in if we're gonna win this. The moment your wheels cross onto that course, you're gonna have to change the way you've been thinking entirely. The only things you can trust on the asphalt are your driving technique and the car you're holding on to. I'm heading out. Why is that? <laughs> Come on, why wouldn't I be, Ikatani? Did you already forget? Cause it's T-minus one day to freaking payday! Oh yeah, that's right. Your first big check. First one since joining the ranks of the full-timers. It feels way different from when I was working part-time, like I've matured or something. I feel like I've actually become an adult! So, Mr. Adult, where's your first paycheck going? <laughs> I've already made up my mind. It's going into a turbo for my sweet ass 8 5 not that piece of junk. Now blowing by cars like your S13? Uh, It'll be easier than eating cake on uh, my birthday. Uh, I already got a loan estimate and the dude says it's looking good. Uh, yeah? Every day I'm closer to living my dreams. <laughs> the 85 5 Avakina will soon become a legendary car among the racers of the world. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> I want to be able to tackle those mountain passes like Takumi does. <laughs> yeah, speaking of Takumi, I wonder what he's up to. I haven't heard from him in a while. something that's been on my mind since last year. I've been thinking about my dream in life. All winter long, it was on my mind. It's all I thought about. I finally figured it out. What I want to do is drive. I want to drive faster than the next guy, faster than anyone. So I've decided to be a professional driver. Fujiwara! Yo, Fujiwara, wake up! Oh, hey. Always daydreaming like a little girl. Are you done for the day or aren't you? Uh, yeah. I'm on the early shift. You got a hot date? Uh, I don't... Well, not really. Not really? And you're so young. Such a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. These gutters are wide open. Ryosuke said something about it to me. But I didn't expect them to be quite like this. Yeah, I know what you mean. Back in Guma, they use panels. Usually the gutters are completely covered in concrete. It was so dark during the practice runs last night, they didn't stand out. But if even one of your tires dips into these gutters at racing speeds, your undercarriage will be totaled. You know, I was thinking, when Ryosuke mentioned this last night, he must have been warning me. Hmm? He told me that how you overcome these gutters in the race 
will win or lose it for you. He can say what he wants, but the best we can do is just be careful not to fall in. Look, we're just gonna have to trust him. There's a lot Ryosuke knows, and we don't always understand what he means until the very last hand is dealt. And then, it always ends the same. It's exactly the way he predicts it'll be. You can count on it. This time I bored out the 1600 V6 to an 1800. I put in high compression pistons and a lightened flywheel, and that way she'll get a response time a lot closer to the level we need it. Then I put in quad valve sports fuel injectors. She's a real bad girl. If you combine what you've got under the hood with your driving technique, Toru, sounds to me like the ultimate downhill machine. I gotta admit, I'm jealous. With all of this, there's no way I can lose. No way. So tell me, Punta, you still making Takami do all the tofu deliveries? Yeah, it's not like things have really changed that much. But the kid's also working another full-time job during the day. That's a little much. Look, he can handle it. Besides, I don't ever hear him complain. He's actually been working harder than ever before. Well, that's true. That Project D team has been good for him. I think it's given him some real motivation. Yeah, they're undefeated. And apparently, they're breaking records all over the place. Sure, they're the ones to beat right now. But someday... They will lose. About time! I've been waiting for this race forever! I wonder if Project D is as awesome as they say. It doesn't matter. Any way you look at it, the downhill belongs to the Seven Star Leaf. I mean, Toru losing to some slick outsider? Come on, give me a break. His opponent's an 8-6, right? An FD is a tough opponent, but an 8-6 is just flat out old. The other team wants to do the downhill first. I figure that works fine for us. And it's not gonna be a side-by-side -side start. It'll start with a chase, one car chasing the other. They'll go first. Now, I'm sure you know this, but if he pulls away from you, we lose the race. Try not to forget that when you're out there. It's ready. You can start any time. You might just think it's another 8-6, Toru. But I promise you, there's nothing normal about this car. Of course, I know that. But I have absolutely no control over what he's driving. The best I can do is to just get out there and race. Hey, Toru! Shinichi, give me your hand. Hmm? Can you feel that? I'm shaking. I'm so scared. To tell you the truth, all I want to do right now is just run away from here. I know this is weird, but at the same time, I'm happy. I feel like I can hardly control myself. And do you know why that is? It's because of Project D. I've been driving a long time, and it's a rare thing to have the opportunity to race under pressure like this. Tonight's battle? It's going to be the most important event of my entire life. I'm the representative of the Seven Star Leaf out there. Tonight, my driving will make you all proud. No regrets left behind. That's how you're going to win this. Now do it. All right. This is it, guys. Let's move out. <laughs> Toro Suetsugu. Nice to meet you. Takumi Fujiwara. What's this feeling? I've never felt like this before. Like I'm numb. Pins and needles. I'm so numb I'm almost crawling out of my skin. Now, you're gonna take care of me on those roads, right?
You probably don't know this, Toru, but you're the reason I joined this team. You're the best, the daredevil kamikaze downhiller. There's not a single person alive who could keep up with you on the downhill. Not now, not ever. Losing to some outsider 8-6? <laughs> Ain't even on the books tonight. I made the right decision in choosing to lead. You lose that rhythm on the downhill and it'll kill you. I wouldn't be the first guy carried off this mountain. Calm down. This isn't about winning or losing. This is all about maxing out my full potential. When you get right down to it, the Roadster is a more compact vehicle than the 8.6. And because of its smaller size, you can bet that their main weapon will be technical footwork. What I've seen so far tells me this guy Toru's driving is rough. He's relying on leading into the corners at high speed. It's not like it's bad form, just kind of rookie if you ask me. This will push his car through every corner by using an inertial drift. Don't get me wrong, I understand that every driving style starts with the concept of going into a corner as fast as possible. I just think that you could say that his driving technique was almost nurtured by his underpowered roadster. So, you're saying that he's just like Fujiwara? Yeah, that's right. It's very similar to the relationship Takami has with his 8-6. With one exception. The big highlight of this course is the stretch at the end where there are no covers over the gutters. And what the drivers pull off at that moment will make this race. Yeah, but I wonder, is there any way for a driver to get across those pits without just trying to avoid them altogether? There's got to be another method. Yeah, there is. I already told Takami about it. It's an incredibly dangerous technique. It relies on shifting the car's weight. But it's nothing Takumi and Keisuke can't handle. I mean, hey. They are my double aces. Let's go! Check that out. That turn he just made is insane. Toru's not going easy tonight. But then again, looks like that 8-6 isn't falling too far behind either, is it, dude? He won't last, though. Nobody can keep up with Toru. That guy leaves everyone in the dust. Yeah. Then there's only one question, right? How long can the 8-6 keep up? I bet he's out way before this thing's even over. I guess I should start being impressed. Nobody's ever been able to stay so close to me for this long. One thing's for sure. That's no normal Junker 8-6. But even more important than that, who the heck is the guy behind the wheel? Yeah, he's good, but it doesn't feel like I'm really being pushed. I think this dude's got his hands full just keeping up with me. I can win this. I know it. I'm not responsible for what happens when you push too hard trying to keep up. If you value your life, then you should give up right now. His cornering is incredible, but he's reckless. Hey, Ryosuke, there's still no real distance between them. Sounds right. Because this is where it begins. The fastest downhill racer in Gunma is about to show his teeth. <laughs> 